So if they're tourists about to launch, uh, how do you feel? Let me let me try to like collect how I how I'm feeling about it. I'm feeling lots of things about it. A lot of long days, long nights, but wow, it's worth it. I'm gonna be so full of some kind of emotion when it launches. Suddenly we're getting close to shipping. Ended up shipping a week early. The satellite is built and it's moving from just down the road from where we're sitting now to Florida. Why? So uh, at Astronus we built a new kind of satellite. So this is a micro satellite for higher orbits. Today is a, a big day for us because we just shipped our first satellite out the door. It is arriving uh, at Cape Canaveral as we speak. It's going to space, <laughs> but it's going to Cape Canaveral first. <laughs> I've been uh, waiting for this for a whole bunch of years. Uh, it's kind of the end of one big phase, building the satellite. It's a start of another exciting phase, getting it ready for launch, launching it, operating it. Thank y'all everyone who came out to help with that. You only get one first, and this was our first. So thank you everybody. <laughs> you know, we've shipped it before, but this felt different. Seeing our tourists like loaded on that truck was pretty wild because every time we've shipped it, it's come back. Our tourists went to Florida on a truck, drove it there, and then it gets unpacked, electrical checkouts, loading xenon, loading hydrazine, physical inspection, software configuration. I have power cycled the spacecraft hundreds, maybe thousands of times. But you always know there's going to be the last time where you're configuring it for flight. The last step we do is configure it so that it knows, like, it powers up, it's in what's called separation mode, and it's ready to go. The next time our tourist powers on, it thinks it's in space. We always wanted to make it a little special. Our tourist has a bunch of different vehicle services. We had them each, you know, sign off with, like, a different line. We wanted uh, John Bowen, the program manager, to, like, read it out loud. All right, so pause here for a sec. I think it's one view, man. All right, go, go power it down. And this little alert popped up. Warning, last time. I'm not ready to say goodbye. Not goodbye. See you later. And I'll, I'll be blunt. They were explicitly written with the idea of making one of the toughest persons ever seen cry. I know you're scared, <laughs> but we can do this. I always believed in you, power switch service, and I'm glad you kept believing in me. Honestly, I was holding back tears, which to be honest was like extremely mean of them to ask me to do that. This was a long road with not a lot of people to talk to, but thanks for not leaving me alone during it. <laughs> you people could have gone anywhere. And you decided to stay here with me. I'm gonna make you so proud. We've all spent years with the satellite, so we just wanted it to be like a cool last moment. All righty, let's wrap this up. This has been the best vacation of my life, but I think it's time I head home, call you when I make it. Seeing the satellite kind of say goodbye for the last time on the ground, it was, um, it was surreal. All right, now for the last time. <laughs> Three, two, one, you're off. All right. That's that. I have never been this far from it in my entire life, which is kind of scary. It's only gonna get farther away. That's good. That's what it's supposed to do. But in some ways, I don't want it to go to space. Change, change is hard. And it felt like really silly because it's, you know, it's an inanimate object, but it's like the thing we've been working on for forever. Um, yeah, it's sad. It's cool. We almost don't want it to go. Can it be a sound? <laughs> Legitimizing. Excited. Excitement? Exciting. Excited. 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 Dedication. Anticipation. Teamwork. The whole thing from start to finish relied on. Teamwork. First. That's stoked. Legendary. Inspiring. Thrilling. Probably milestone. It's a milestone because it's something I've worked on that I'm really seeing being proven out. Trailblazing. Dawn. Thrilled. Badass. I know it's two words, but that's <laughs> one. Discovery going to be an adventure. The dream. Culmination. Convergence. All of these separate subsystems and all of these years of hard work all converging. About time. It's surreal. It's been many, many years and, and many, many hours. And I'm honestly just at this point really, really honored to have worked on such an incredible project. I joined Astronus because I like to work on satellites beginning to end and that day is finally here. There is an interesting combination of excitement, impatience, anticipation, nostalgia for sure of just reminiscing on everything that it took to get here. And so Arcturus has been sort of the baby of, of so many people at this company. Super exciting when I look back at those four years, I really think about how I've grown as an engineer. I feel like I've grown with the satellite. The GNC team is super excited in terms of flying the spacecraft. Because we're ready to do it. We've been ready for a long time and we can't wait. We really can't wait to start flying this thing in space. 
There's nothing cooler than flying a satellite. I am super lucky to be able to get to do this as my job. Cap that off with working with a bunch of incredible people every day. It's amazing. We have a bunch of team members here that have worked on this rocket. So for them, it, it's an ending for the rocket because it's uh, not going to land and be reused. But it's a start of a new journey of uh, building a satellite that's going to provide internet. There's been so many people who have put in so much effort into this, knowing that I was a part of that. And then also what it's going to do for the people of Alaska. How much they're paying for internet and it's kind of crazy. It's something that we rely on so much and that it's actually difficult for them to get. And to know that they are getting dedicated infrastructure in places where they couldn't otherwise is really amazing. I don't believe there has ever been a satellite like Arcturus taking communication satellites in geo, putting them into that small form factor, modernizing it, filling those gaps that we know there are customers that need to get online and that this capability can bring them online is even more rewarding. It's game time. Can't wait. Go Arcturus. When we started the company, we always imagined what it would be like to be here today, ready to launch our first satellite. We are incredibly proud of all the hard work the team has done to get to this point. Going from being a, a company that is pre-product to going and being a company that is providing service and is helping people out and doing what we said that we're gonna be doing. And it is now finally time to launch our first commercial satellite.